What is up YouTube? We are back with another deck profile and we have another meme one, but this one is very fun. Memes can be dreams. We have the Clefairy from Lost Origin. This, uh, it's very fun. It reminds me a lot of Lunatone and Solrock from Pokemon Go, but I feel like this version is just a little bit better just because it can ha hit higher damage caps much quicker. Let's get on to the profile. We are starting off our Pokemon section with four copies of Clefairy. Clefairy is a basic one prize psychic Pokemon with 60 HP from Lost Origin. It has a weakness to metal and a two retreat cost while having zero resistance. Now we are playing this because it is our main attacker and our way to set up energy on our board. It has the ability Moon Watching Party. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, for each of your bench Clefairy, you may search your deck for a Psychic Energy card, attach it to that Clefairy, then shuffle your deck. It also has the attack Wonder Storm. For three colorless, it does 20 times. This attack does 20 damage for each Psychic Energy attached to all your Pokemon. So your game plan here is to have a Clefairy in the active. Hopefully you have all three Clefairy on the bench. You Moon Watching Party attach an energy to each of these and then we play a ton, and I mean an absolute ton of switch outs. So you'll put this Clefairy here. It'll be, it'll, its ability will have been used. You'll then use this one to attach here. And then you just keep on recycling Clefairies until all four of them are done. And then you just attach per turn and then you can start swinging. It adds up fast, especially once one gets knocked out, you have ways to get it back and then all the other have energy remaining on it. You just get it back and you recycle the process and you can hit some really, really high num numbers considering we play a lot of Pokemon. Uh, not a lot of Pokemon, a lot of energy. We actually do not play a lot of Pokemon in general. The next Pokemon we play is one copy of Radiant Greninja. It is the Radiant we choose to play in this deck as well as it is our draw engine for the most part, our onboard draw engine. Simply for the ability Concealed Cards, you discard an energy with the ability to draw two cards. We don't really want energy in the discard. We do play ways to get energy back, so it's not the worst thing in the world. We also play one copy of Manaphy, a familiar Pokemon you see in other lists. It is a basic one prize water type with 70 HP from Brilliant Stars. It has a weakness to um, Lightning, no resistance, and a one tree cost. We play this solely so multiple Clefairy can't get one-shotted by mainly Radiant Greninjas as well as Rapid Strike Urshifus. This does not, Manaphy, does not protect against Sableyes from Lost Origin because they place damage counters. Basically, this deck loses to Sableye a lot because they can take out two Clefairies at once and Manaphy can't stop that. So that is a bit rough, but other than that, it does protect us against Radiant Greninjas which is played way more than the Sableye from Lost Origin. And that is actually going to be it for Pokemon. We only play six Pokemon in this list, three different ones. Mainly our whole game plan is just Clefairies, draw with Radiant Greninjas while having Manaphy on the board to protect us from uh, snipe, snipe damage basically. So that's gonna be it. We're gonna get on to our supporters. So the first supporter we play is four copies of Professor's Research. Basically, we just discard our hand, draw seven cards. Very, very good to just draw us cards. We need to have a lot of Pokemon in play. We need all our four Clefairies in play, ideally, so we can start accelerating a lot of energies and doing a lot of damage. And that Professor's Research is the most consistent way at doing that. The secondary supporter we play is four copies of Bruno, all the way back from Battle Sales, which is getting pretty old now. Bruno's effect is shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw four cards, which just on its own doesn't seem that good because you're not drawing a lot, but it does have a secondary effect. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, draw seven cards instead. Very good if we're taking multiple prize cards in a turn and those happen to be all energies, which we do play a lot of energies. We can just Bruno them into the deck and then accelerate them with Clefairy's moon watching ability. And the last supporter we play is two copies of Boss's Orders, a very staple supporter card in the format. The effect on this is switch your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active. Very good if we put a lot of energy on board and we can take a KO on a V, V-Star or V-Max. It is good to boss them up and take that knockout just because our opponent could be hiding behind a one prizer or a two prizer and we want to hit those 
you know, higher prize Pokemon so we can take more prizes and outrace our opponent to a, a victory game state. So starting off our items, we do play lots of items. We are playing four copies of Switch Cart. It is a very good card in this list considering we only play basics. The effect on Switch Cart is switch your active basic Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. If you do, heal 30 damage from the Pokemon you move to your bench. Very good considering we only play basics. This is basically a better switch in a deck that only plays basic Pokemon. We heal 30, which is pretty good considering we only have 60 HP, but at the end of the day, we only have 60 HP. So your opponent's easily gonna be able to knock us out with an attack, or if they're spreading damage counters, they can easily do that 60 damage with stuff like Sableye. But if they're doing stuff like quick shooting and like stuff like that, then the switch card just helps us out a lot because that just negates their whole quick shooting effect. Now to search out Pokemon, we are playing four copies of Quick Ball. Discard a card from hand, search for a basic Pokemon. All our Pokemon are basic, so it's way better than Ultra Ball. And since we're playing a lot of Psychic Pokemon as well as Psychic Energies, we are playing four copies of Fog Crystal. Fog Crystal's ability, search your deck for a Psychic Energy card or a basic Pokemon. A psychic basic Pokemon, put them to your hand and shuffle your deck. Very good to get us energy for attachment per turn or just another Clefairy, just another Clefairy out in the early stages of the game. Then we also play four copies of Level Ball. We really want to maximize our chances of getting Clefairies as soon as possible. Level Ball is search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less, reveal it, put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Searches out Clefairy and it searches out Manaphy. Unfortunately, it doesn't search out Radiant Greninja what can you do you can't you can't search everything out except with quick ball then for another switch out we are playing four copies of escape rope now the reason why we are playing escape rope over let's say switch not playing four switches is because of empoleon from battle styles empoleon turns off our clefairy and manaphy's ability and without having clefairy's ability we can't accelerate so if we see a uh, empoleon in the active we're gonna to wanna to use an escape rope to get it out of the active so we can start using our abilities to accelerate energies. That's why we play four of those over the switch. You're also playing two copies of Rescue Carrier. Rescue Carrier says put up to two Pokemon with 90 HP or less from your discard pile into your hand. So if a Clefairy gets knocked out or Manaphy, we can Rescue Carrier back into our hand and then bench it and it's back on our field. We also play two copies of Energy Recycler. Since we're gonna have lots of energy on our Clefairy and Clefairies are gonna get knocked out, lots of energy is going to hit the discard pile. So you can play an Energy Recycler because the Energy Recycler's effect is shuffle up to five basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Very good because we can shuffle those into our deck use Rescue Carry to get back the Clefairy and start accelerating all those energies. And then we are also playing another switch out and that is two copies of Air Balloon. The retreat cost of the Pokemon this card is attached to is two colorless less. All our Pokemon have two colorless or less retreat costs. So we basically have free retreat on those Pokemon. And the last two items we play, one copy of Hisuian Heavy Ball simply because we're gonna, we're gonna prize some Pokemon eventually. All our Pokemon are basic, so this searches out all our Pokemon if they happen to be prized. And we play one copy of Ordinary Rod. The effect on Ordinary Rod is very good because we can choose one or both, shuffle up to two Pokemon from our discard pile into our deck, and shuffle up to two energy cards from our discard pile into our deck. Very good at getting back Clefairies and energy to accelerate and get to more damage output so we can start winning the game easier. And finally, we play psychic energies and we play a lot we play actually more than a lot we play more than most decks play we play a total of 16 basic psychic energies basically we're going to be attaching a lot per turn once per turn obviously as well as accelerating energies with clefairy's moon watching party ability so the more energy we have in play the more damage we can do. So with the 16 energy on our board, if we are able to get all 16 on our board, we can do 320 damage. Now that is enough to knock out most V-Maxes, 
Some VMAXs it can't knock out. Obviously some VMAXs with a big charm, but it does take a knockout on stuff like Mew VMAX, while it does miss knockouts on stuff like Kiram VMAX, and I believe Eternatus VMAX. Now Eternatus VMAX isn't seeing a lot of play because it's kind of a bad deck right now, but the Kiram VMAX is very good. But again, you're gonna be a one prize, they're gonna knock you out, and then you're gonna hit with another one prize for KO. So it doesn't really matter in the end. And that is going to be the deck profile. What did you guys think of this deck? Do you think this is better or worse than the Lunatone and Solrock deck from Pokemon Go? As well, if you want these cards or any other cards, definitely check out the homies over at Deck Out Gaming. You can use my promo code YBMCARDS to save 5% off your whole order at checkout. That is 5% off everything on the store. It helps you out by saving money, as well as it helps me out a little bit as well. So it helps the channel, helps you, everybody wins. And that is gonna be it for the video. I will be back probably next week for another video, if not in the next video with another deck profile. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next YouTube video.